Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Aquarius's weekly guidance message for this upcoming week. In this message, Aquarius, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Aquarius, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Aquarius spirit. What do my Aquarian friends need to know? I definitely feel here, Aquarius, an energy of walking away from a situation that is no longer serving you. And I feel at one point you thought that this person was a person that you would be around forever. Maybe this was a position that you thought you were going to be in forever. For some of you, this is pertaining to a work situation. But I do feel here, Aquarius, there were some things that were hidden that started to come out here at the end of this term, at the end of this relationship, however this is playing out, guys, okay? It's gonna resonate differently for each individual person. For some of you, this is going to be a relationship. For some of you, this is going to be a job, a business position, a position in a company, that maybe there was a lot of money, there was a lot of um, financial stability, but, I feel here again, there were some things that were hidden that weren't necessarily brought to the forefront. Now, how I'm envisioning this, if this is a relationship, this is most likely pertaining to somebody's mental health, okay? So a relationship has come to terms because of somebody's reaction. And I feel here maybe this person had some sort of issue that they kept under wraps or kept hidden. But you can only you can only hide things for so long, right? You can only pull the wool over somebody's eyes for so long before everything starts to come out. Now the challenge here, Aquarius, I feel like part of you wants to help this person. Part of you did envision a future with this person or envision your future in this position and really think that you can add value to this person's life or this business partnership, this job situation. Um, some of you, this may be like um, you worked at a company and you maybe had like a lead role or a leadership position. And if you leave, you know that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to suffer because you leave there's something here that keeps you tied to the situation here Aquarius and I feel like it's because you want to be helpful you have good intentions here but it's starting to become a detriment to your own personal health and sanity okay so really what it boils down to is asking yourself you know is it worth it now the outcome the outcome this situation, this tower is crumbling regardless. Now, I do feel like there, this is being revealed so you have an opportunity to prepare for this. How you're going to know that this situation is pertaining to you is A, the mental health situation. If your person has been dealing with something that they're hiding health-wise, this doesn't necessarily have to be mental health. It can also be like their health. Um there's going to be something that brings in some sort of stressful situation 
okay? Some sort of risky situation that you're going to be putting you, yourself more at risk than what you are now in the present energy. If you don't take the steps to distance yourself from this person or from the situation. Now, if you feel like you're the saving grace and you're going to be able to save all these people in the midst, the best way that you're going to be able to save people is if you see warning signs, warn them, especially if this is a work situation. If you see that um, maybe documents aren't being filled out correctly or things really aren't aligning like they should, then maybe you should be warning other people that that situation is about to erupt. Okay, but I feel here, Aquarius, you're being called to prepare, prepare for the worst, okay? And I feel like this is a relationship that things were okay, a job situation, things were okay up until recently, and then things started to kind of become toxic, become uncanny and hard to deal with. So let's clarify the death energy, the ten of pentacles, the moon for the energy surrounding Aquarius. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. If you find the messages helpful, resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to put these cards back, but we're going to talk about the message that's intertwined with these cards, okay? So I feel here there is this impulsivity when making this decision. And I do feel like it's kind of like maybe you're being rushed to make this decision whether you should stay or go. I do feel like there is a lot of unhappiness. There is a lot of uncertainty in the present energy. Past energy, there was a lot of happiness between you and this person. But I feel like this is this is a battle that you can't win. One more card here for the Knight of Swords in the reverse, please, for the energy surrounding Aquarius. Okay, Fool in the reverse. Look before you leap. Pay attention to the warning signs, the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. The signs are cautioning you here, Aquarius. Let's clarify this Seven of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands here for the challenge. strength with the eight of swords in the reverse. So there, you are going to make it through this brain fog is the only way that I can, this uncertainty, this confusion. Okay. You are going to make it through this right now. You're going to need to trust your intuition, trust your inner guidance mechanism. So if you get a gut feeling that something's off or not right, then you're probably right. Clarify the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the Chariot with the High Priestess. Trust your intuition. It's time to move forward from this disruption, this confusion. A lot of you are kind of up in the air what you should do here, and maybe this is confirmation that it's time to walk away, that it's time to do what's going to be in your best interest. It may be difficult, okay? You never want to walk away from somebody because of a health issue. And maybe walking away isn't the answer, okay? Maybe there's some boundaries that need to be set surrounding the situation. Or maybe there's a conversation that needs to be ha had about how much this is weighing. Maybe um, coming up with a resolution where there's somebody else that comes in to help with the situation. I'm not saying that walking away is the answer, but I do feel like you do need some space, some distance from this toxic situation. So whether it's somebody to come in to help with the situation, something like that, I do feel like this is, this is only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse before it gets better. So pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward guys in this energy thank you guys again for all the love and support for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing
spiritual advice here for Aquarius spirit. What do my Aquarian friends need to know? One more card out here, please. Okay. So that compromise this is that working together to come up with a plan or a resolution on how to overcome this challenge okay not fighting not arguing no more stress no more worry okay just all cards on the table no pun intended if you and your person can both come to this determination come to this conclusion you will be able to find peace. You will be able to come together into a more happy position with this person. But you do need to stand your ground. You do need to speak up for yourself. Um, express how you feel about these challenges and what you think will help to overcome them. Okay? Whether this is a job or a relationship. Okay? Because I do feel like for those of you that this is pertaining to a job... This is somebody who is in a leadership position. So either like a lead or a boss, something along those lines. So your opinion matters. I do feel here there can be a resolution that you and this person can agreement that you can come to terms with. Preparing for this tower energy is what's going to be the key here. Preparing for that. So again, preparing for the worst. Let's pull a soul truth message here, Aquarius. Sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. What excuses am I making right now? No more waiting. There will never be good enough time. The time is now. If it's important enough to you, you will find a way. Today, make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready. Listen to your heart and you will be led. Beautiful, beautiful. So Aquarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. The main thing that I get from this entire message is prepare. It's time to prepare for a situation. And, I, and for those of you that this is resonating with, again, you have already seen the signs. Um, there's a knowing, right? But this has just barely come out okay so you're just starting to see the signs that maybe this isn't headed in a positive direction whether this is the health of a relationship or a health of a person or whether this is a job situation you and this person can overcome this challenge but you guys have to work together to get on the same page and to come up with a plan to minimize the damage okay preparing for the worst so Aquarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.